traumatized and left with lifetime scars. These are soldiers injured on the battlefront in northeast Nigeria. At least more than 100 soldiers have been killed and scores of others wounded in various operations across the country in this year alone. And against this backdrop, the Defense and Police Wives Association, DEPOA, is embarking on the construction of a post-traumatic stress disease, PTSD center in Abuja, that will cater for their mental health needs. The groundbreaking ceremony has been attended by the wife of the president, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, former president of Malawi, Mrs. Joyce Banda, vice president of Liberia, Mrs. Joel Owat Taylor, and the immediate past chair of the UN National Committee, Baroness Sandy Verma. On the state of insecurity, the Chief of Defence Staff restates the commitment of the military to ensure that peace is restored in line with the directive of President Mahmoud Buhari. I'd like to use this opportunity to pledge the honour loyalty of members of the armed forces and indeed to Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief, letting him know that his avowed desire to bequeath a Nigeria that is safe to all Nigerians at the end of his tenure, country 23, that we will stand ready to be able to carry out all the directives that he has given and for him to achieve that aim. The PTSD facility will serve as a rehabilitation center for soldiers after their return from military operations. When completed, the center will help evaluate, counsel, and provide adequate support to personnel and by extension, their families before reintegration from conflict zones. The initial plan for the execution of the project was to do a fundraising. However, the wife of the president, Mrs. Aisha Buhari, objects to the idea. Fundraising is not the solution. The solution is the federal government that send them to fight the, for the that send them to the war front to take responsibility in taking care of their families and also taking care of their mental health after returning from the war front. She also speaks about her experience as the wife of a former military head of state, promising that the PTSD center will be completed before the end of her husband's administration. One year after he came out from detention, we were married. I clocked 19 years as his wife in his house, legitimately. So I suffered the consequences of the PTDS, PTSD, because Having gone through all this at the age of 19 to handle somebody who is a former president of Nigeria and the commander of commander in chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, to tell the person that he's wrong, to tell him that he's wrong is the first mistake that you are doing. She then proceeds to perform the groundbreaking ceremony in hopes that these will serve as a morale booster to men of the Nigerian Armed Forces. Emperor Simon, Channels Television News.